Sister Wives Janelle Brown warns Mary about Cody's money lies, but will she listen? And Christine promises newly divorced Mary an emotional heart to heart that it's better on the other side. I will explain everything. Watch this video until end. Hey lovely viewers. Welcome to my 2S Gossip channel. Sister Wives fans faced serious drama on the November 10th episode. Janelle Brown had a brutally honest talk with Mary Brown. With tensions at an all-time high over the Coyote Pass. Property, Janelle felt compelled to warn Mary about the looming financial crisis and Cody Brown's role in it. Janelle laid out the stakes, telling Mary, if we don't make the payment he can repossess the whole thing. We will lose it. The family has a tight 75-day deadline to pay off the property, and Janelle, who has been handling the bookkeeping, is deeply worried. However, Mary's response was shockingly nonchalant. I'm not worried about that, she said, brushing off Janelle's concerns. The chat grew awkward. Janelle realized, with some distress, that Cody had misled the family. I am beginning to realize that Cody has been telling everybody that I am somehow controlling the family's money, she said in a confessional. And trust me, if I really was, we would be in a very different position. It's a claim that Mary didn't seem to fully dispute. She admitted, I've been under the impression for many, many years that you're the one who's been taking care of all the family finances. Despite Janelle Brown's warning, Mary appeared reluctant to believe that Cody and Robin could be untrustworthy. I don't think that there's really any need for protection, Mary said, showing a loyalty that left fans scratching their heads. Don't you think that we have each other's backs as far as that goes? But Janelle didn't mince words. No, I really don't. She replied, adding that she felt the need to protect herself legally. In her confessional, Mary seemed torn and confused. I feel like everybody in the family has a different opinion about the other person, about what has been happening with the finances, she explained. And I don't know which of it is true. I'm not going to take sides. I'm not going to be in the ex-wives club. I'm not in the Cody and Robin club. Janelle was frustrated by her refusal to act. The conversation ended unresolved. Sorry that you feel like that, Mary Brown said dismissively as Janelle made plans to lawyer up and protect herself. This explosive fight shocks no Sister Wives fans. They know of the financial drama over Coyote Pass. Janelle Brown has long been seen as the responsible one. Yet, Cody has been telling everyone that she controls the money. The reality, as Janelle made clear, is quite different. If we prioritized the money there was always enough, she told Mary, emphasizing that Cody's refusal to make payments is what's put them in jeopardy. The financial turmoil has worsened after three divorces. Janelle, Christine, and Mary all left Cody in two years, leaving Robin as his only remaining wife. Janelle, who has always been careful with the family's money, is now realizing how deeply Cody's misinformation has spread. Her confession was telling. Cody has been putting me off for years when it comes to paying off Coyote Pass, claiming he doesn't have the money. But, as she pointed out, that wasn't true. Mary's apparent trust in Cody and Robin has many fans concerned. She's made it clear she wants to stay out of the drama, but her passive approach could have serious financial consequences. Mary wants to believe the best in people, but it's just not realistic, one fan commented on social media. With her financial future at stake, Mary's reluctance to take action is baffling to those who see Janelle's warning as a desperate but necessary move. For Janelle, the situation is critical enough to consider legal action. Her decision to lawyer up is a clear sign that she's done relying on Cody's empty promises. Whether or not Mary will eventually see the danger is unclear, but for now, she's choosing to stay on the fence. Mary also spoke with Janelle during the November 10th episode about their respective separations from longtime husband Cody Brown. Mary Brown is still processing her divorce from her longtime husband Cody Brown, and his fellow ex-wife Christine Brown knows that. Experience all too well. During the Sunday November 10th episode of Sister Wives, Mary was in attendance for Christine's daughter Gwendolyn Brown's bridal shower ahead of her July 2023 wedding to Beatrice K. Ross. The occasion marked one of the few times that Christine, Mary, Cody and his last remaining wife, Robin Brown, 
have all been in the same room since the patriarch's three divorces. Janelle Brown was unable to attend due to a pregnancy situation related to daughter Maddie Brown. Brush. During the celebration, Mary took a moment to approach Christine to introduce herself to her former sister wife's new boyfriend, David Woolley. After engaging in small talk, Christine then asked Mary how she had been holding up, acknowledging that she was aware of Mary and Cody's official split. Christine then pulled Mary in for a hug, and Cody's first wife became teary-eyed. I love you, Mary, 53, said and Christine, 52, responded, I love you too. From there, Christine, said, it's better on the other side, isn't it? A, I don't know, admitted Mary. It will be, Christine reassured Mary. Infinitely better. It is. It is, I promise. So much better. As Christine then asked if the businesswoman was, all right, Mary said she was doing fine. The two then embraced for one final hug, during which Mary noted how, this is good. Yeah, good, I'm glad you came, Christine said as Mary added, thank you. The brief exchange was a rarity for Mary and Christine as they've both maintained that they are not close following the family fallout. But, they have still wished each other well from afar. Mary was Cody's first wife before they began their polygamous arrangement with Janelle, 55, in 1993. Christine and Robin, 45, joined the fold in the years that followed. In November 2021, Christine became the first wife to leave Cody. Janelle followed by publicizing her breakup in December 2022 and Mary jointly announced her separation. From Cody in January 2023, Mary later got an official termination from her marriage to Cody through her church, which was approved on the grounds of abandonment. The November 10th episode also saw Mary addressing her breakup for the first time with Janelle. At the start of the episode, Janelle visited Mary to warn her about the future of Coyote Pass, which is the family's property that they both partly own. However, the pair also disclosed where they currently stand with Cody, 55. Telling, Mary she's finally, free, Janelle, 55, explained, Cody and I have officially said, even though this was the understanding, we've officially said it's not working. I just think I need something different. You happy? Asked Mary as Janelle responded, I am. I'm at peace. As for Mary, she said she's, all right, after her own separation. Plugging through, it's just weird, let's be real, she added. It is weird, but it's not necessarily bad, Janelle said. I mean, I wish things. You know, in the family could have gone a different way, said Mary as Janelle replied, yeah, me too. The TLC stars confront the uncomfortable topic of how the Arizona property is going to be paid off during a November 10th episode of Sister Wives. The couple take the next step in their relationship during a November 10th episode of Sister Wives, which was filmed before they tied the knot in October 2023. Christine Brown and David Woolley are bringing viewers along on their house hunting journey in an all-new episode of Sister Wives on Sunday, November 10. Christine opens up about her and David's decision to permanently live together after just a few months of dating. During the episode, which was filmed before the couple tied the knot in October 2023, the pair scope out some potential new homes in Salt Lake City. David and I live apart and I'm done with that. So we're going to live together and we're going to go house shopping, Christine says in a confessional style. Clip. We're looking at houses and we're moving in together, like permanently buying a house, not just renting. She later notes that they both want a place with a three-car garage, a kitchen with a big countertop and a lot of open space. We want a home big enough for all of our kids to come hang out in, she says, before joking, but not live with us. The scene cuts to Christine and David meeting up with their realtor to check out some properties. While touring the first home, they discuss the topic of having two sinks in their bathroom. Christine then opens up about how it's exciting to learn more about what David needs in a home. I know what side of the bed David likes to sleep on. I don't know his daily habits because if we sleep over at the other person's house, then in the morning, we leave. So it's just, I don't know. Like when he gets ready, what thing he would prefer, she adds. It's just fresh and new. During the scene, the pair also 
confront the issue of whether they're moving too fast by looking at houses just a few months into dating. I knew on our second date that you were the one that I wanted to spend the rest of my life with, David tells Christine. My dad met my mom, and then seven days later, he asked her to marry. So I think that's fast. I think we're slow at our rate. Christine, who left her plural marriage with ex Cody Brown in November 2021, later adds that it doesn't feel like they're rushing. Things because they both know exactly what they want. I think it would feel fast if it didn't sync up so well, she says. We hit a flow, and our flow was faster than other people's flow and slower than other people's flow. It was just our flow. Though all three of the homes they looked at didn't seem like a fit for them, they both note that they're looking forward to viewing more homes until they find the perfect spot for them. During an exclusive interview with People Back. In January, Christine shared a relationship update and revealed she and David had actually purchased a home in Moab, Utah, that they wanted to turn into an Airbnb. We've done a lot of traveling and guess what? We bought a house in Moab, she told People. We're going to do an Airbnb with it. We figure everybody should come to Moab and love Moab. So we bought a house there for a way for us to escape to. Sister Wives runs into 10 years of seasons on TLC. While many critics slam the show, it seems one of the network's top money spinners to this day. Certainly, social media went crazy during the premiere on February 14th. As the wives turn to live tweeting during the episodes, it makes fans engage even more with this rather controversial show. So, will TLC renew it? When will the polygamy show come to an end? Sister Wives premieres, when will it end? On social media, some fans really hate Cody Brown. But he seems undisturbed by their feelings. In the premiere, fans saw that the family seems fractured in Flagstaff. So, when Janelle called a meeting, everyone seemed a bit nervous. Janelle Brown might be easygoing and prefer a quiet lifestyle. But the family listens when she speaks up. She addressed the fact that their family seemingly breaks apart. Discussing their principle, each of the wives talked about their concept of polygamous marriage. Interestingly, Janelle seems all for it. Robin feels it makes the family dysfunctional. And Mary seems sunk in her own misery as usual. In the meantime, Christine surprisingly likes the idea of a big family. But Cody Brown seemed less than pleased with the way things work out. In fact, of all of them, he seems the most fed up in sister wives. Actually, he said that he no longer wants to advocate for plural marriage anymore. So, where does that leave the show in terms of more seasons? Does that mean it ends soon? Cody Brown chatted with Entertainment Tonight. He covered a lot of questions about the show. But, in the video below, he talked about when the show might end. Despite his feelings about not advocating the lifestyle anymore, clearly, he knows where his bread's buttered. He talked about the American public and their demand for more seasons. Actually, if you break it down, he wants to stay with it as long as the ratings stay high. And that already brought criticism before. You can see it at 6.45 minutes into the interview. Cody Brown isn't going anywhere. Sister Wives fans sometimes slam Cody Brown and allege that he puts his wives through hell just for an income from TLC. Well, we discussed Cody Brown's net worth. Apart from the TLC show, it's not clear what Cody contributes to the family coffers, if anything. In the comments under the YouTube interview, some fans felt that the show should end. One of them said, such a stupid show. The advertising is for serious drama, but he is already letting the show down. It will be a waste of time to watch. Clearly, Cody stays with it as long as he can milk the polygamy cow. So, as long as the ratings continue, TLC no doubt renews it for more seasons. And that's despite the fact that many fans feel the show actually represents why people should never enter the lifestyle. Thanks for watching this video. What do you think about this video told on comment box and subscribe our channel.